Yes, sir. Another beautiful morning. Monday, the start of a new week. Seriously, couldn't have asked for any better weather. It's not too cold. The sunshine's outstanding. Great, great weather for mid-October. It was really cold the past couple of days, but it looks like it's really turning around. Emmy? Emmy? <laughs> Rarely see this creature walking on four legs. She likes to be laying down most of the time. Ain't that right, Emmy? Oli. Let's get right in the gym, man. We got legs this morning. Love. Heavy, heavy squats. We're up to 365 on this thing. Let's jump right under it and get right to work. If you have any imbalances in your hips, like I did at one point, favored my right side when it came to squat. But in order to correct that, we've just been including something that forces your shoulders to stay parallel. And that's this hack squat. It basically distributes the weight equally to each shoulder. That way you're going down level on each side. So we're gonna do this for the foreseeable future. I really have no plans on going back to conventional barbell squatting. It just kind of wrecked my hips for a while. So we're gonna take a long break from that. And it's just gonna be more and more hack squat. Ugh. 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 Really focus on getting nice and low. Uh, quads and hammies, man. Let's jump in. Last set of quads here. We're going to go all out. Max this thing out. Got to control the reps. You'll get way better results. Instead of swinging it around, increase the resistance. Uh, of course, we're going to finish it off now with some hammies. Hamstring curls. These are my favorite for hammies. There's nothing quite like it. Uh, that was a crazy leg workout. Went really, really hard hour and a half let's finish it off we'll go about 45 minutes of some cardio wrapped up our sprints next up is some jump rope probably think to yourself man is it really necessary to work out every single day in order to build that true confidence in yourself that true belief that you can take over the world and become anything that you truly desire anything that you've been dreaming for for years and decades since your childhood that's how you get that confidence and true belief is repetitive action, showing up every single day and holding your word with yourself. The more you hold your word, that belief starts building up within. Your mindset's gonna be bulletproof because you have built that trust in yourself. You know you're gonna do the right thing. You know you're gonna persevere. It's no challenge because you've been there and you've done it already. You've been through something much harder. After the gym, made a quick stop at Wally World, picked a few items up, let's get the cart put back and head home. Before I get started, I think I see something way up there in the field, something white. Looks like it's standing out. Let's go make sure it's not an animal coming with me or no. We definitely need to come bush hog this stuff. It's pretty tall. Let's make our way to the top. Walked up this hill. It's nothing bad. It's just a box and something on the other side of the fence. Better safe than sorry. Let's get back down here and get to work. First job on the bucket list today, clean up the goat's barn. What's up, guys? Let's hop in here, see what kind of damage they've done. Good morning, all. It's not feeding time quite yet. I can already see some hay drug out. It's not too bad, definitely not as bad as the sheep had it. We've got it kind of closed in with the pallets here. I'm gonna go through, rake up all this loose hay put it back within the pallets, refill their water bucket. And then I specialty brought the yo-yo out here to knock down some of this tall brush. Are you gonna do it or me? Watch out. That's the head honcho, big mama. We put a bell on her, that gets kind of annoying, but let's set this down and start raking. There's a big pile over here. All you gotta do is just pick a spot and start raking. There's plenty of it here. We'll get up all the new stuff. Piling up all the hay. My love's on the other side of the fence. She's mad at me. Sorry, my love. I can't let you in here. The goats don't like it. They get pretty antsy. So we're gonna have to let her sit out on this one while we get this job finished up. She's checking it out. 
Just got all the loose stuff raked up. Put as much as I could within the pallets. Anything I couldn't, I just put to the side over here. Either way, we'll be back here in about a week redoing it because they always drag it out. They got a fresh salt block here and some fresh water. They'll be good to go. Knock down pretty much all the big brush here by their barn. Working my way up. I'm also going through raking it into piles. That way we can come through with the tractor, pick up all this dead stuff. I still got a little bit to finish down there. And we got a ways to go up here. I don't think I'm gonna get it all done, but I'm gonna at least make a nice patch for them. Looks like they're liking it so far. As I was working my way up, the yo-yo broke clean off the metal. One side's still on, but I'm gonna stop before it comes flying off. We're gonna go through, rake up everything we have done. We got as much of it mowed down as we could. All the excess I raked into piles here. We'll come through with the tractor, get it pushed down to the wood line. It's a lot better than it was. They got plenty of space to roam around. We'll have to come through and bush hog this real big stuff. We kind of let it get out of hand this season. The time has come. Let's try to fire on this baby. She's been down for a couple weeks. The battery's shot. Up until recently, I've gotten away with recharging it every couple days, but now it won't even hold a charge enough to get it fired on. I'm gonna get it pulled out of here and see if we can find a good replacement before we try to buy one. We're gonna grab this bad boy and see if we have any luck with a used battery. I wasn't able to find a battery in our storage barn, so I started checking some of these mowers. Most of them don't even have a battery, but this one over here is showing 10 volts. So we're gonna get it pulled out, charge it up a bit and see if it'll work. Disconnected both terminals. The positive seems to be okay, but somebody rigged up the negative one for some reason, I'm not sure, but the battery seems to be in good shape. Let's get it pulled out. Before we lug it back to the shop, let's double check. I got the ground wire on there, put the positive on. Check that out, 10.8 volts DC out of a 12 volt battery. That's not too bad. It can use a slight charge up, but I think it'll work. Before I can attempt to give this thing a boost, I'm gonna have to repair the battery charger. The negative terminal fell off. The positive one's on there good, but we'll have to get it reattached to the alligator clip. Strip some fresh wire. Managed to get a couple of these tabs opened up without breaking anything. We don't have to worry about the other side. Let's get this thing put together. Now we got that done. Let's slap some electrical tape on it and get it to work. We are live. Battery charger is up and running. We'll wait to get the green light on it. Everything's looking good so far. The sticker on this battery says 1123. It is 1024. So it's about a year old. Should have plenty of life in it. While the other battery's charging, came up here, yanked this one out. We're gonna go ahead and bring some sandpaper up here and clean off the ends. That way we have good contact when we install the new one. Brought the new battery up here. It should be good to go. The positive terminal on this one is on the right side. This one was flip-flopped. It shouldn't be too big of a deal. I'm just gonna have to push the ground wire back in some. These shouldn't be too bad. Give it a go. See what happens. Yeah, baby, she's on. Woo! That's a good sign. I thought I was going to have to use some of this starting fluid, but no need. We're going to let her run. She's got about two bars of fluid, so it should be enough. We'll let it idle, warm up a bit, then we'll take her for a ride. We're going to take the old battery down to the shop. We'll get rid of it. It's super light compared to the other one. A little test drive. her back up and running never know when you need it getting some dinner cooked up we got a layer of ground beef layer of sauteed onions mix it all together sprinkle some feta cheese on top we're getting ready to throw in some eggs in the pan alongside my potatoes we're gonna wrap it up for tonight get fueled 
We'll see y'all on the next one.